Hey everybody, welcome back to Quake 2. So, oh, hello gentlemen. No. Uh, just, God, I was trying to jump up there to get the precious armor. Let's see. What the? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this now. Thanks to these dicks. It seems kind of cheap, honestly. It's kind of a... <laughs> I mean, seriously, how are we supposed to do that? Oh well, whatever. Let's just move on, shall we? Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. Here come the grenades! They just keep... Yeah. Well, nice bit of friendly fire. What the hell was that? Yeah, I'm not sure... I don't know. I've kind of mentioned... I've had like conversations back and forth about the new AI. Still really unsure about it because of just, eh, I don't know. To me it kind of feels like the way that some of these things have been implemented are more or less like, huh, I wonder why Ed commented this out. I mean some things I guess are kind of neat, but I don't, I don't know. Tr Their attempts to keep the player suppressed doesn't really work with the way the enemies are placed in the levels. I hit R to reload. <laughs> Brilliant. Not to mention, sometimes they just keep doing it for way too long. Like, I think it was in during, during like, Hub 1 or something, where one of the uh, commander dudes just kind of wound up, uh, like, doing, like, three volleys of grenades when I wasn't even in sight. Just seems, I don't know, a little silly. But, we'll see how it goes moving forward. Okay. One thing I will say with nightmares, it seems like it makes the game more uh, tedious than difficult, but eh. I don't know. Oh, hello, everybody. How the hell did you know I was here? That's some bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I was literally behind him. What the hell was that all about? Alright, well. Get my armor now, at least. Alright, there we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do them objectives. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this in a more efficient manner. There we go. Perfect. Alright, you guys are here just to waste time. Got it. <laughs> I like how this guy's just completely useless. There you get go. Uh... Really not sure why they set these doors up. It seems a little bit uh, counterintuitive. Anyway, I want to grab these. Oh, great. How did he not hit me during like any of that? Oh well. Down we go. Oh, I didn't go this way actually. So this leads back to here. Okay. Convenient, I guess. Although the re rebreather is not really all that helpful, given, I mean, this is all, like, pretty shallow stuff, I gotta say. Uh-huh. Oh, just wait till I get the Hyper Blaster, you bastards. The Hyper Bastard! New from Mattel. Not really. Alright. Okay. They're taken care of. Awesome. So, um, anyway, what I was going to do is select the grenades and then go ahead and just pelt that guy with them. But he just kind of knew that I was here, which is, uh... I don't get this. Oh my god. Really? It's just a little silly, you know? I can't even jump in there, like, what? Oh. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, I guess there's this. So I guess I can kind of jump in there. I guess that's what the rebreather's for, is just, you know, in case that's too much of a 
thing? Yeah, I don't know. The heck is this? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to T-Zoned. <laughs> this is like seriously something out of a 90s wad. What? Oops, all barrels. Um, That's some weird lighting stuff. I'm assuming something probably... Oh. <laughs> Light goes on. Light goes off. Perfect. It's raw, you know. What was there? An it felt or sounded. It felt yeah. Sound like there was an explosion back here. I guess not. It's probably just a weird thing with the way the sound works. You know, condensing real space is down to two channels. Okay, so let me get this straight. They. Uh, I don't get that at all. Let me get this straight. So they have this uh, one guy who just. There's no way in hell he could possibly see me, yet he does. And, um, then there's that guy who I'm basically just... Okay, music. But then there's that guy over there that, you know, I'm like literally <laughs> right behind him. And he just doesn't react. Yeah, I know the one guy was scripted, but still, it's... It's silly. Alright, anyway. What was I doing? Where was I? Who was I? And why was I? Asking all the hard-hitting questions here. If only there was a use key. Oh my god. Oh, hey. The real dude. This is the one thing that, like... <laughs> wow. You know what's funny about that? Is, um, I don't think they touch those guys at all. They're just as inept as they always were. Right. Okay. Well, that's a thing. So, is there anything in here that... Okay. Traspasa! You know, the game won't trust me with it. Wow, that's some stupid knockback range. Holy shit. That was another complaint in the comments, by the way. Yeah, I totally get it. It was just like one of those things where it almost felt like they were trying to make them resemble deathmatch bots. That's not necessarily the best idea. I wonder if that's one of those things that's just like locked to certain difficulties. I don't know. Sure thing, Berserker. One down, two down. Two, two, down. Got him. There we go. Really? Okay. What? <laughs> Resembling deathmatch bots. <laughs> this is perfect. It's exactly what I had in mind. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to go back there. Just throwing that out there. Okay. You know, I do remember this section. God, and I don't trust the jumping enough. Yeah, because you don't really have any air control, so you can't slow yourself down. Eh. <sighs> yeah, it's stupid. It's bad. It's really horrible. Alright. So we're just not going to explore, I guess, because that's actively punished. Uh-huh. God. <laughs> I'm starting to remember that a lot of these, like, map and hub designs are very much about, oh, look what the engine can do, and less the... Always forget about these guys. But, uh... Kind of feels like it's more about what can the engine do rather than what should we do. Uh, oh, got him, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, that knockback is just really bad. <laughs> so this... Just kind of curious at this point, like... Where would I end up meeting up with where I was last time? I want to say it's right beyond this door. Are you shitting me? He didn't even... Oh, the scripting in this game is not good. <laughs> My god. Are you kidding me? I mean... <sighs> yeah, it really just feels like everything's just... Soul intent is just to slow you down more than anything else. Okay. I'm actually starting to think I should have just left this on hard. I think it would have been more fun, because it would have at least kept the power fantasy. Without the tedium. I don't know. I'm gonna stick with it. I've never actually played this through on Nightmare, but... Oh, God. I know the little fuckery that the uh, remake did with the enemy AI is not helping matters, though. Case in point, the fact that they just attack without even seeing you. Oh, yeah, well, what items do I have? Uh, compass, quad damage, silencer. <laughs> Most of it's useless. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I even show this off? I think I might have during the hard mode playthrough. You know, that, that one level I did on hard. Yeah. Alright, well, let's uh, just do a 360 down here. Actually, it was more like a... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little more. Look at me giving you bonuses. Good Utuber. Oh. Well then. It's funny because I can hear the guy moving around in there. Oh jeez. So what? Oh, I see. Yay. <laughs> See, it's little bits like that that I like. The, um... Weird use of alarms and stuff like that is just kinda... Mm, I don't even know. Especially when the enemies are just so... Like, their scripting is just so unyielding. Yeah, stuff like that's just a little silly. Oh, what? Excuse me? Must be a slight. I think it was around there. Huh? Okay. <laughs> sure thing. Everything's fine. Okay. How did you know I was up here? I mean, that guy was completely clueless last time. Alright. DFA, baby. Or not. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that was fun. Alright, so. You can just play the safer route, bring this up, and. And. There we go. <laughs> you did it. Bless him. Oh yeah, and then there's like 15 bajillion things that run out here. You know, like these guys. It's awesome. Well, at least these guys, but, but at least these guys don't lead the target. That's kind of nice. This thing was such a pain in the ass about bolt guns that the enemies would just painstakingly lead the target. And it would... And, um... Then, like, on top of that, they can clearly track you through walls. Kind of like how his, um... Jump effect hit me through a wall. That was, uh, pretty awesome, right? I'm starting to see why Id might have commented that out. Um, I'm pretty sure that should have failed the range check, but... Yeah, what do I know? Alright, good enough. Let's move on. Let's not make that mistake again. See, that's the thing. Um, 
someone needs to go back in time and tell id from this era about this jumping puzzles don't work when it's on flat ground in fact it works quite it works quite poorly when it's on flat ground <laughs> all right granted i could have saved the game before i did that but eh. i mean oh it's kind of like i mentioned before like nightmare is just kind of really make this game harder quote unquote like it feels like less of a legitimate challenge than most other games but it sure as hell makes it more tedious especially again that's one of those cases where he was tracking me through the damn wall that seems to be the only thing they change with the enemies is they track you through walls and will occasionally kind of just start firing before you round a bend. That's not... that's not good AI, guys. It's really not. That's actually quite unfair. I mean, I guess if you're... Oh. Yeah, I guess if you're trying to make, like, a multiplayer bot, it's good to have some sort of player anticipation, but... This is just stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Get fucked. Alright, Bandolier. Oh yeah, one of those other... Oh yeah, that's an instant... Instant activate thing. Alright, well... Onward we go. Not sure what they could have really done to make this harder without making it feel... Well, like this. I mean, I agree with the assessment that maybe trying a different difficulty is a good idea because I actually distinctly remember this area for some reason. But, you know, doing something because Quake 2 is just an objectively easy game. And, uh, what the hell? Okay, didn't, really didn't feel like anything was connecting. But, um, yeah. Anywho. And I mean, yeah, um, I think just with the Quake, the stock Quake 2 AI, this would have felt better. Because like I said, it just feels like they go too far into that whole attempting to anticipate and suppress the player thing. I mean, it's, this isn't like Sniper Elite or Rainbow Six, it's Quake 2. <laughs> I don't think it's really that unreasonable to expect really dumb a enemy AI that more or less makes up for, um... What? Okay, yeah, this I'm bothering with the fucking range check. Let's get, let's be real here. It's supposed to have one, but that was point blank, and he still did the jump. But um, yeah, I don't think anyone plays these games like th for that. It, it's like with Doom. The AI is serviceable. Yeah, I mean it's um, it's good enough to generally reach the player. Uh, however, it's not. Like, I don't know. It's like, the game's more about, like, overwhelming the player than trying to outsmart the player. Just not what you play this kind of FPS for. So, I don't know. Should have left some of this stuff commented, that's all I'm saying. Especially with how glitchy some of the uh, additional little attacks and stuff are. Okay, well, I've got a solution for this. I'm starting to think that railgun does full damage. Yeah, that worked. And another comment, commenter kind of mentioned that the, uh, uh... That is stupid. Like, if I weren't slightly askew, that would have knocked me right into the laser. And insta-killed me. Okay. Anyway. What was I saying? I don't even know. This feels like I'm playing a movie script more than I'm... Yeah, okay, we get the... 
Are you done? Uh, I think that proved my point more than anything else. I don't know. It's like it felt okay in Act 1, but I think it's largely because the um, enemy selection in Act 1 is relatively benign. Uh, so, I don't know. We're going to stick with it, though. I'm curious to see how this ends. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Let me out. Make it stop. And strong <laughs> prisons must be uh, pretty bad. I mean, I can't imagine why. Yeah. Well, at least that means I'm probably going to get a rocket launcher soon. Why? Did those little blaster bolts do that much damage? Oh yeah, that's right. I think I was. I'm gonna just start saving these. <laughs> Keep forgetting like these old games don't do any sort of auto save. You know, it feels like that'd be a good thing to add into the remaster, but yeah, whatever. But um, yeah, that was another thing someone was commenting about is how badly the armor works in this game and yeah you definitely feel that oh missiles okay all right just do this in a more sensical order I suppose and even the numbers the, like the numbers that you get for each armor pickup really don't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. 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 Did he even hit the switch or did it just enable the alarm randomly? <laughs> Admittedly, I wasn't paying super close attention, but uh, yeah. Did, did it bump. That was through the wall. So that's purely radius based. It doesn't even do like a. It doesn't even like do a basic ray trace just to see if the player could even get hit by that. Oh boy. It's raw. It's very raw. Also, from what I understand, the. Um, Remaster also reduce the amount of damage that the player's railgun does, which um, is an odd design choice, <laughs> but um, you know, whatever. Never understand that whole thing. It's like, let's go ahead and try to rebalance a game that's, um, well, let's see. Yeah, a game that's old enough to drink in the U.S. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Okay. Uh, where the fuck did you come from, sir? Where did any of those guys come from? <sighs> Getting really fucking tired of this game, not gonna lie. Okay, correction. The AI. I'm getting tired of the new AI. Because that jump attack is kind of an excessive amount of damage. I'm not- I'm still not sure where the hell those guys came from. Like, that- that- were they there last time? Uh, or did I just go- No, that's the same route I took before, so... Yeah, for some reason his blaster does a lot of damage. I don't know why. Oh, I get it, because he's a tank, Lamau. Uh, don't get it. Don't get it. Just go this way. Though I can just wait for that unnecessary crap. Yeah, he just uh, doesn't even really have to press the button. He just kind of looks at it, and it goes off. Why does it feel like they have to use that alarm gimmick like 58 times per level? <laughs> Man, I'm like really cynical in this run, aren't I? 
I think it's because like the flaws are really starting to make themselves apparent very quickly. Okay. This might also explain why most of my Quick 2 playthroughs end pretty quickly. Because that's another thing. It's not like, um, like I mentioned in like part one, I don't know if it was the hard playthrough or the hard, the hard hub one run, or if it was this, uh, during the nightmare section. What the hell was that range? That's some bullshit right there. But anyway, I don't know when I mentioned it, but, um, I hadn't played this game in a quite a long time. Um, all the way through. Like, the last time I beat it was, I think, quite literally the year 2000. Well, um, that isn't to say that I haven't played it, like, a little bit here and there. But each of those runs never really made it that far. And this might be why, actually. <sighs> How do you like that force damage, though? All right, so we're going to. No, it doesn't. Oh. Also, the menus in the remaster don't really work right. So if you hit select, see how it has save game. If I hit enter, it goes into save game. However, if I hit escape and hit down, okay, it's working now. <sighs> okay, I I swear sometimes the menus just don't work right. <laughs> but I can't replicate it. It almost... Yes, okay, there it is. If it picks up mouse movement, so like, let's say I hover over end game, hit escape, hit escape again, hit down, you'd think it would take me to load game. I hit down, not up. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I swear, swear to everything's sacred. I hit down. Okay, so let's try that again. I, I had... When I was using the keyboard, I had it over load game. And I moused over exit or end game. If I hit down, it's like it saves the mouse cursor position and the keyboard cursor position separately. It's weird and very unintuitive. I'm surprised he didn't just randomly leap. Okay, so that's where that dude came from. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these guys just, this time, for whatever reason, they just ran around. I don't get it. Okay. It's like the game's non-deterministic or something. Okay, well, whatever. I don't know where the weird tentacle thing came from, but, you know. <laughs> You have questions? That's uh, understandable. Okay. Okay. Now that one I can't even blame on the AI because that's totally stock behavior, but still annoying. Okay. Let you out, let you out. You're already let out. Let you out, let you out, and let you out. And I will take those rockets, please, and thank you. Now, um, where did that tank come from? <laughs> the world may never know. And, um, then there's this quad damage over here. Oh. Really? That was it? Okay, well, whatever. Okay. I swear that this game is... Sure, why not? Yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. That's just another hub connection. Okay, whatever. It's just. Is there anything? Mm, nope, no ammo. Well, there is like other areas in. Oh, I see. <laughs> Does it open up in here? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That did a lot for me. <laughs> Excellent. I guess that's the hub system in action. Alright, well, let's move on to here. Oh, 
Oh, well that works. Okay. Alright. I... Uh, other thing about the Berserkers is, like, occasionally it just... Oh, yay, yellow armor. That should last 0.2 seconds instead of 0.1 second. Okay. I would really, really like some sort of boom launcher. That would be swell. Didn't I pick up a grenade? I guess not. Oh, dude. That was awfully rude. Oh, cells. I mean, it gave me rockets. It's giving me cells. Uh, uh, okay. Great. Like, literally, all those shots I made on the barrels didn't explode them. Okay, now we gotta wait for this. They just... Okay. Well, okay. Well, if you want to do that, I'm just gonna throw grenades down the stairs. Because this is fucking stupid. I, it, I just... These gameplay changes, to be frank, are just completely and utterly unnecessary. They seemed cool at first, but it's like one of those cases where as reality just continues to set in, it's becoming more and more apparent that they're a net negative overall. Okay, more of these guys. Awesome. Cool. And like even stuff like that, like the um, like the fuse on the barrels, like why? I mean stuff like uh, it's funny because like uh, you figure even stuff like the whole um, chain gun again. What the hell? Give me some boom! Like you gave me like fifteen chain guns just in this hub. Anyway. Turn to detention center, deactivate your lasers. Yeah, so this is kind of a very hexen like hub, I guess. Just a lot of back and forth. Which, uh, you know, better utilization than some of the other ones. Oh, well. Sorry. Yeah, he was too far gone anyway. I, I mean, he's just shooting. He's literally shooting at nothing. But anyway, as I was kind of saying, it's funny when you look at like the um, how contentious like the, the nightmare changes in Quake One were. I mean, because you figure with um, yeah. Well, at least he's out of the way. But because yeah, in the original Nightmare, it was essentially fast monsters and you know all that jazz, the usual stuff. But it was a fairly... I don't know. Nightmare in the original Quake was kind of low-key. You know, it just didn't feel like Nightmare. Actually, probably feels less like Nightmare than this does, to be honest. Mostly because of the reduced enemy count. And the fact that some enemies are actually objectively easier with Nightmare. Now, um... In the remake, or the remaster of Quake 1... Gross. In the remaster of Quake 1, they made it so that uh, Nightmare would limit your health to 50%. And that was it. And, I mean, that was contentious for fairly obvious reasons, because, I mean, it's a, it's a remaster and they're changing gameplay. But at least they left the rest of the gameplay alone. With this one, it's just like they just... I don't know. I don't know why they messed with it so much, I guess. I'm sure there's gonna be like... Just mods that probably restore all the original behavior. I know there was at least one that just, um... Changed the Berserker back to normal. Oh, and that was another thing that... I didn't mention it because I wasn't 100% sure, but... Per the comments, they also ended up making the uh, tentacle doggo um, like 
royally extending its range and stuff like that. Just making it more lethal for reasons? But it's like if you do manage to dodge it, it gets stuck in the wall, so I mean... But how, how likely is that to happen? I, I don't know. It's a mixed bag. A beautiful looking mixed bag, mind you, but a mixed bag nonetheless. I don't know, at this point I'm kinda curious, like if, um... Oh, haha. <laughs> well hey, grenade launcher! Thank frick for that. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> uh, it was a roundabout. It's a little bit of a roundabout grenade, but, you know, it worked in the long run. But yeah, I would, I would kind of be interested in just playing through stock Quake 2 using, like, Yamato Quake 2 or something, just to kind of see what the difference would be. I don't know if it'd be something I'd want to do for the channel, because, I mean, playing a game literally twice in a row is kind of... Oh, shouldn't have grabbed that. Yeah, I know, computer's updated. I got it. But yeah, it's not not something I'd normally consider to be uh, super quality content. <laughs> Me, concerned about quality content. Anyway. That's still not open. I wonder when that does open up or if... No, okay. That was worth a shot. All right, anyway. Let's try to shed some of the uh, cynicism and... Uh, I'm trying to think where the yellow la yellow lasers were. At least I have this. Mmm, good stuff. Oh, hi. I gotta say, the grenade launcher animation in uh, Q2 so much more satisfying than Quake 1. Not that it would take much, but, uh, you know. <sighs> okay. Willets, alright. Oh, okay. How is that even... Ugh, gotta get used to the angle. Okay. I'm not even sure. That was shoulder mounted on which shoulder again? <sighs> okay. Alright. This is all good. Computer updated. Yay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Some of the stuff I think I mind less than others. Okay, so it is on his right shoulder. So it did technically have line of sight, I just couldn't really see it. Okay. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'll take it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and sit in the pod. Yeah. <laughs> Ruining my view. I don't know. I think we have to hit a switch for that. So, onward to another level in the hub. Huh. I haven't seen those guys in a little while. Okay. Well, at least I can shoot grenades back at that guy. Makes me feel a little better. Although, that one cell definitely had rockets, and, um... Yeah, I don't have a rocket launcher yet. And I won't be satisfied until I do. That is one thing that id did. Haha, <laughs> id did. I love that. But, um, that is one thing with that id did with Quake 2. Yeah, yeah, we know. Because they made it so that the rocket launcher... Well, just... Kind of in response to what people are doing with uh, Quake 1. The horrible, horrible things qu people are doing with Quake 1. The rocket launcher actually deals double the knockback and I think less damage to the, uh, like, splash damage to the uh, wielder. 
so yeah. I don't remember about- oh, hello. Yeah, I don't really remember the last point, per se, but, uh... It definitely does more knockback damage. Whoa, what is going on with that sky texture? Or is that actually what it's supposed to look like? Oh, hi. Huh. I did an interesting double jump. Yeah, that was like another example of, um... Weird changes or those f the physics changes, like, which again I think that's more for controllers. Kind of like the uh, lack of a ride up on the uh, submachine or the, yeah, I guess this would kind of be a submachine gun. Ugh, I'm trying to show something off, you little dick. Anyway, there's another one because I guess you can't have too many of these guys. Starting to think they didn't enhance the AI for these guys at all. <laughs> Excellent. But yeah, it's kind of like that weird behavior where you sort of snap on top of boxes. Like if it's a jump that you can, oops, that you can barely make. God, this is getting old, guys. And I'm sure with this, they probably didn't change the, uh, the enemies. Look at that, I'm full on cells. I don't even have a weapon that could use cells, and I'm full on cells. Ah, oh, man. But yeah. Piss off. Thank you. Did I see a... no, this is just computer things. Okay. Down the... Actually, I actually can't use that. So I got the bandolier, which allows me to carry all the ammos. Trust me, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Um... Okay. Nifty! I wish I had the real gun. It's okay. I've got the angle, babe. Well, okay, I've almost got the angle. Huh. Yeah, really glad they didn't decide to make it so that those guys could, uh... could lead the target. I mean, they can already kind of track you through the wall using their little suppression system, but... It could be worse. Yeah, let's just... We haven't shotgun snipe these guys in a little while. There we are. See, I'm getting back into the groove. I still stand by the, uh, the other points that... ...have been made, though. Although, see, this is kind of going back to, um, what I would consider satisfying. Just a whole bunch of weak guys that I can just kind of... melt. <laughs> I don't know. Again, the power fantasy element. And then the music that just kind of stops. Creepy. Ding, sewer count. What's this? Oh, the power shield. I mean... They're already... Drowning me in cells. I might as well just keep the power shield enabled. I get the game feeling that like doing stuff like that, the game's just gonna get substantially easier. Because I don't think anything can penetrate the power shield, giggity. Alright, adrenaline. The adrenaline. Probably just keep this in my inventory, because as I was reminded, adrenaline also, in addition to increasing your maximum health. Also, restores your health to full. Is there anything in here? I'm kind of... No. I'd actually forgotten about that. I remembered the whole, um, increasing your health thing, your max health. Not so much the, uh... Oh, hello. <laughs> I can see the seam in the floors. Okay, anyway. It's kind of hard not to see the seam in the floor. 
You know, I'm surprised in the remaster they didn't just add berserkers in there and knock you back. Ow. Okay. It hurts. Is that the experience of working with Tim Willits? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the guy. I've just heard stories. So, um... Multiple stories, which is... Which kind of does make it a little bit more believable. Uh... Right, so everything's really quiet now. Oh, got all the kills. Got zero of the secrets, but I don't care. I did see this little gap down here. Secret area. There's a crack right there. You know what? We're not going to take any chances now. Whoa. Okay, well... Just cracks. That's all. And just in case you don't have a grenade launcher, I guess. Even though I'm pretty sure it would be borderline impossible not to. Kaboom. Alright, cool. Um, is there anything down here? Mega health! Uh, not super useful now, but uh, I appreciate the sentiment. Um, no, it was this way. So let's see, which key is it? Alright. I bound all of my weapon keys to kind of surround and flank WASD. Which is no mean feat in Quake 2 because there's like 550,000 weapons that you can use. But, um... Yeah, I think I got most of them down. Ammo pack. No! <laughs> I want to go this way. So I need to get to the pyramid. Jeez, a lot of bullets. God, might as well just use the chain gun. Am I right? Okay. God. These are basically the fucking lost souls of Quake 2. And I'm not a fan. So if I remember correctly... Is it like you activate the use the pyramid key and that comes down and then you could do something with pyramids and ancient aliens and stuff? I don't know. There's something along those lines, and uh, you know, <laughs> and we are on an alien planet, so of course aliens makes sense. Um, oh, there's the pyramid. You can fall down. That wasn't too bad. Beep -a -deep bump Hi. Alright, big gun. Okay. So, um... Security pyramid. <laughs> you know, as, as you do. Take me down to the paradise pyramid with a... I don't even know what. And a hyper blaster. Like, they give me so many duplicate weapons. Why? Oh, yeah, the security pass located in the torture chamber. Yeah, this is a Hexen hub right here, man. That's the only way I can describe it. That might sound unfair, but no, it's not. It, it's not at all unfair. Except the thing is, with, he with Hexen, at least you're solving, quote, puzzles. With this one, you're just kind of... <sighs> okay. You're just kind of going back and forth and grabbing keys. Although I guess at least they do have the courtesy of repopulating parts of the level, so that... Hi. It's definitely slower than Quake's grenade launcher. Wow. Um, did not expect them both to go down simultaneously. Yeah, he, he don't like the Hyper Blaster. Can't imagine why. Oh. He did. Bro. And if I remember correctly, you can actually... Well, some of this stuff you can kind of... Activate buttons if you want to just... 
you know, give him a good dunk. Not here, though. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go here. Retrieve the data CD from cell block A. Why would there... I'm asking... I'm asking stupid questions. Let's be real. I would like a rocket launcher of my very own, though. Oop. Oh, I did bind the weapon wheel. Okay. Not entirely sure why I pressed E, but, uh, you know. Well, I guess I'll just wait for the next one. This is another one of those areas that visually I remember distinctly for some reason. <laughs> another hyper blaster! What the hell? <laughs> It's just, it's kind of weird. I know it sounds maybe a little bit odd coming from the guy who does advocate for having multiple weapons, but let me make, let me be as clear as possible with my stance on that. I advocating for having duplicate weapons when you're in a very non-linear space. Like, uh, you know, a Doom, a Doom map or something where it's just kind of magnum opus -y. there's multiple paths you can take. The player should have a shot, fuck you, should have a shot um, regardless of what path they take. I don't think that's unreasonable. Um, for like one example that um, I generally consider to be fairly generous inside of that, it's um, uh, Antares uh, 031. I think I got the number right. <laughs> Apologies if I didn't. Uh, with his maps, um, you know, you get a few duplicates. You get, like, one of... Like, you get the major weapons on every path. Pretty much guaranteed. For the most part. Obviously, I haven't played all of his maps yet. But, um... Yeah, when you're just putting, like, multiple hyper blasters, one, you know, all in a row, in what is literally a linear path that just seems a little silly <laughs> and that's what they're doing here <laughs> I don't understand alright well we have the data CD hmm I should probably save because I'm getting into the groove right now and usually what happens is when I start getting into the groove I die and then have to start like a whole another like have to start the section all over again So what was the thing I have to do in cell block B? Um, gain access. Presumably using the data CD. Hold up. Because, oh, okay, here we go. Crud. Yeah, we know. Bro. So wait, did I not go here? I didn't. Haha. <laughs> This is just a different way to sell block B. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. Or me. Nope, didn't get him. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you good? Yeah, are you pacified? I hope so. Oh yeah, I got this, uh... That thing. So I can just get extra health. And that is... I'll explore that in a minute. Probably less than a minute. We'll see. This door is open elsewhere. Of course it is. Well, I'm going down this way because it involves me destroying stuff. Why are you here? You bastard. Doggies don't belong in the sewer. Oh, great, a sphincter door. My favorite. Oh, man. Yeah, this is probably an area where I should use the rebreather. Yeah, 30 seconds of high-quality breathing. It's probably the only place so far in this game that I've had to use this. Because I'm pretty sure this uh, would take some health from you otherwise. 
This is another thing that I distinctly remember, mostly because of this. Because... <laughs> like... <laughs> Iron Maiden for some reason. Whoa, that was, uh... Odd. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Let me, uh... Do some of my ultra-professionalness, and, um... Oh, you can't directly bind the items. Well, I'm sure you can. It's just not in the menu for some reason. Because what I was thinking was, um... Use... Um... Well, that isn't... Aha! Why would I need a speed bind? Anyway... Okay, perfect. So, power shield on, power shield off. Excellent. So, yeah, um, that should make me a bit more stronger. -er. Yeah, they uh, definitely still have that bit of um, weakness where if you move fast enough, they just, they can't hit you. Which is good, trust me. Yeah, okay. Another Hyper Blaster! Come on, guys! I get that you want me to have it and all, and I appreciate that, but holy shite! Alright, so that's the exit. Let me just, oh. Oh. I'm broken. <laughs> yeah, these uh, probably aren't healthy. I do like that nice little touch where you do additional damage if they're unaware and you hit them in the back. Let's see, I'm just doing this again. But he's dead because I squished him using the power of grenade. Mm-hmm. So saith the trust pasa. Oh. <laughs> Just kind of crawling around on that. Okay, that's a little weird, but all right. Well, you do you, I guess. So... No, nah, I'm going back too far. Let's... Gotta stay focused. But I know that my focus is all... Crocus. <laughs> and up we go. We Now, do I want to grab that? I don't even need that Hyper Blaster. All right. Let's just leave. Well, that section. Man, they are just stretching this out, aren't they? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to go into the security pyramid. What do you mean your workplace doesn't have a security pyramid? <sighs> Stop running so much. Oh. I underestimated the length of that burst. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're up here. I remember this place. Yeah, now that thing's down. So, um... Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this... Oh, where does this lead? Damn it. Um, doesn't this lead back into the detention center? Yeah, it does. <sighs> Alright. You got me that time. Let's, uh... Just go to the security pyramid. A thing that every workplace and institution should have. Now, this was something else. This is something else entirely, but wait a minute. Was it? Yeah, okay. Never mind. Do 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 do. It's one of those things that I do kind of like about Doom. So you can just kind of shut your brain off and just use the auto map to navigate. I wonder if I can avoid fall damage by. There we go. Look at that. 
Let's go surfing now. Something, 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 something. Security pyramid. Yeah. Beep a deep bonk. And I think this is it. Boink. What? We're still. Hold up. Is that. Hold on. Um, okay, so this is grid control. Are we still... I guess we are. <laughs> I think this is like the last level in this hub, maybe. Man. This is going to be a spicy one. Well, at least it kind of has a bit of a... thing. Yeah, see, and then they only gave me, like, two grenade launchers. Well, no, more than that. Three grenade launchers? It definitely had more of a fixation on the Hyper Blaster than the uh, grenade launcher, that's for sure. The hell? I heard what sounded like a bad guy. Now, I will say with Quake 2, the uh, laser effects were quite cool. Especially at the time. Oh, that was close. And now it would have been my own stupidity. Oh yeah, it's like a boss level, isn't it? Yeah, I can hear the womp, womp. Yeah, gr good stuff. Yep, get wrecked. That barely even took any ammo. That's the tank, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so tough. You know, you'd think he would have heard me, but... Okay. There's got to be more, right? 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 Eh? I mean... Oh, yeah. Now that's a tank. Yeah. Trust me. Just keep yelling trespassa. It's not going to help. Honestly, they're the more threatening enemies because... Did you see how far away he was? So yeah, they're... The Berserkers are definitely the threatening... What the fuck was that? The more threatening enemies here. Which is to say they're complete fucking bullshit. Yeah, that... I was a little bit concerned, because you know how... Some people are, like... Purity of the remasters and all that stuff. So I was a little bit concerned that maybe the whole Berserker hate thing was just kind of either a skill issue or uh, just people just wanting the original. No, it's I think it's objectively bad, honestly. It just, it's not well implemented in the slightest. It's kind of overpowered. The levels weren't designed around it, which I think is kind of the bigger issue. Of course, then again, how do you design something around, like, knockback 86? I mean, that, it's ridiculous. Ow. Dick. Okay. Well, onward, I guess. Okay, yeah, so that was just kind of a short and sweet thing. Yeah, look at that. That is, um, six map hub. Very nice. Seven kills, six of which were a royal pain in the ass for no good reason. But okay, that was um, that was a bit of a long one. But yeah, that was uh, whatever this hub is, uh, the third hub. Woo! Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like I said. Um, kind of the more I go on with this, the more it's starting to. <laughs> some of the new remaster behaviors are starting to annoy me. I don't know. Like I said, I'd have to compare it with Quake 2. I know some of the stuff there, like um, them continuing to fire even when you're out of sight, is vanilla Quake 2 behavior, but then there's other stuff like them just repeatedly firing on where you were last seen, which um, doesn't belong, in my humble opinion. But that's that kind of stuff's annoying. It's like when you just have the... Uh, oh, what are they called? Commandos? 
when you just have them firing like multiple volleys of grenades because I mean that basically makes that entire area no man's land considering each grenade does a uh, kind of a healthy amount of damage to you or unhealthy depending on your perspective I don't know if it really works but we're gonna press on we're gonna see how things go um and so when I get into kind of a rhythm, it's not so bad. Like, it started off really rough, but then I think things kind of eased up a little bit. And I'm not sure if that was just me readapting to the controls after basically playing a week of Doom, or um, just because this one started off kind of like a spicy meet the ball, but, eh, you know, whatever. But anyway, enough rambling. It's been like an hour and some odd minutes, so um, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.